Hello everyone, this is JD from Benchmark, and today I'm going to show you the basics of using Kogo in Microsurvey CAD. Kogo is an incredible tool that allows you to create exact and detailed drafts for your project. To get started, go up to the top and click MS Kogo. Then move over to the left here and click Kogo. The best advice I can give you at this point is to always follow the directions in the command window. On a blank drawing like this, I'm just going to choose any point arbitrarily to get started. This will create a saved point, so I'm going to hit OK. Next, it asks me for a description, which I could leave blank, but I'm going to call this one corner. This description is attached to the point and is a part of your description library. When you're ready, hit enter. Next, you have to specify the direction. My project is set to bearing, so I have to specify direction in terms of quadrant, degrees, minutes, and seconds. Let's say I want this line to go due north. So I'm going to type 1 for quadrant 1, and then zeros for the rest. After that, hit enter. With direction done, you now have to specify distance, which for me is in feet. Just type the desired distance, and then hit enter. So we've defined the line. That's done so far. Now we need to define the point at the end of that line. It'll automatically be the next available number in the sequence, so it's best to hit enter now. If it needs a description, you can type one now, and hit enter. Now we're almost done with our very first line. We just have to click on one side of it to place the bearing, and we're done. Let's do the whole thing again, but quicker. Hit enter to start from the latest point, point 2, define the bearing, define the length, define the endpoint number and its description, and click to place the text. Let's practice again, but this time starting from point 1. At this point, when it says enter from point, Instead of hitting enter for the last point, just type 1 to start from point 1. Now just proceed as normal, defining bearing, distance, endpoint number, description, and then text side. One last thing. On this enter from point command, if you want to automatically connect two points with a line, say between points 2 and 3 here, all you have to do is type first point number, period, period, second point number, and then hit enter. So if I want to connect them, all I have to do is type 2, period, period, 3, and hit enter. This will bring up all the information about the points I just typed, and as soon as I click OK, you can see the line has been created between these points. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps us out. And if you have any questions about this video or about any others on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at one 286 3204 or visit our website at bench-mark.ca.